So let's say we have a cube that has a volume of, I'm going to roughly draw a cube over here, it's not going to look anything like a cube, I'm sorry. Um, so let's say we have a cube and the volume is 64 units cubed. And we want to find out one of our side lengths. So we need to figure out what number, when multiplied by itself, three times, because my volume is length times width times height, and those are all the same in a cube, so I just have my side length cubed. So I need to figure out what number multiplied by itself three times is going to give me 64. So we can use our prime factorization to figure this out. So if I have 64, I can use my factor tree, so I know that 2 times 32 will give me 64. Now on my next step, I know I could have break down 32 more to get 2 times 16. On my next level, I still have my 2 times my 2, but now I can break down 16 into 2 times 8. Now I still have a number here that's not a prime number, so I have to keep going. So I still have 2 times 2 times 2, but I'm going to break down my 8 even farther to give me 2 times 4. 4 is still not a prime number, so I'm going to have to have at least another step here. So now I can break down my 4 into 2 times 2. So I have my prime factorization of 64 equals, how many do I have here? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 6, 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 2. All right, that's 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Awesome. Okay. So, just like we did when we were looking for a square root using prime factorization, we're going to do the same thing with our cube root. So since I'm looking for a number multiplied by itself three times, I'm going to break these twos into three separate groups. So I see one group, two groups, and three groups. This means that I could have 4 times 4 times 4 to equal 64. So this would be the same as 4 cubed. So I know that the cube root of 64 equals 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 will equal 64. So if I go back up to my terribly drawn cube, my, each of my side lengths here would be 4, 